Hello and welcome to Professor Pincushion. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add a sleeve lining. This is so the inside of your garment can look just as nice as the outside. Let's go ahead and get started. For my example, this is going to be my main garment fabric and I'm going to use this as my lining fabric. So I'm just going to show you what to do with one sleeve for main fabric and for lining, but obviously you need to do that for the other sleeve as well. So for all our sleeve pieces, both the main and for the lining, at the top of the cap of the sleeve, you're going to do two rows of basting stitches from notch to notch. So start here, end here. The first one is going to be done at the 5 8 line, and then you're going to do another one at the 3 8 line. I'm doing my second row of basting stitches. So this one's at the 5 8 and now I'm doing 3 8 and you don't need to do any back stitching. It's the longest stitch on your machine. This is just to help us ease the sleeve into the armhole. For both your main fabric and your lining fabric of your sleeve pieces, we're going to match up our underarm seam. I'm doing a long sleeve, but you may be doing a short sleeve. Make sure you have right sides together. You're going to be matching up the raw edges, the ends, the notch. Go ahead and pin and sew at your machine. I'm doing a regular straight stitch at my seam allowance, 5 eighths of an inch. Don't forget to back stitch and then after you finish, press your seams open. For the lining sections of the sleeves only, all along this top portion, you're going to fold over 5 eighths of an inch or whatever your seam line is. My sleeve is still wrong side out. If you have your basting stitch at the 5 eighths, it makes it a little bit easier. So I'm just going to go around the whole thing, pin it, and then press it. The main sleeve should now be right side out. The lining should still be wrong side out. So I'm going to slip the lining onto my main sleeve and you're going to match up the bottom hemline. So slip this in here. Make sure that your underarm seam matches. They're now right side to right side. So you're going to pin all the way around the hemline and then sew your normal seam allowance. The lining is attached to our main sleeve now down here at the hemline. After you stitch it, go ahead and trim your seam allowance. I leave about a quarter of an inch left to it. Then you're going to pull your lining apart from the sleeve. So it's like this. And then just gather up the sleeve as best you can to slip it onto your sewing machine again because now we're going to do an understitch. All the seam allowance should be on the side of the lining. So I'm filling it right now with my finger and we're just going to stitch right along that seam line. I'm sewing on the side of the lining keeping pretty close to that seam line. If you don't have a small base on your machine like I do, this can be a little tricky. And it's all just about gathering up the sleeve and trying to do the best you can. But always check to make sure that your seam allowance is underneath the linings part. The lining now gets slipped inside the main sleeve. So we're just going to stuff this back in there. And now the lining's on the inside. Once you have everything straightened out, we're then going to go back to our machine and we're going to do a top stitch. So we're going to sew right along this edge here. You can see with the top stitch I'm getting really close to the edge here. And this will help give the bottom of our sleeve a nice finished edge. Now we're ready to attach our sleeves to the bodice. So this is my bodice sample. Lining main fabric. We're looking at the lining side. In order to prepare for putting in the sleeve, I did a basting stitch all the way around the armhole. So we're treating it like it's a single piece of fabric. So again, we're looking at the lining. I'm going to grab my sleeve. It's still right side out and I'm grabbing the cap of the sleeve. So where we have all the basting stitches, I'm going to come up from underneath, come up through the armhole. We're going to start pinning our sleeve to our armhole, but we're only pinning the main fabric only. So my lining fabric, I'm just tucking it into the sleeve more so it stays out of the way because we don't want to pin that, just this fabric. We're going to start matching up. So I match up the main areas. Underarm seam to side seam. 
We have notches here. I have a double notch and a single notch. So I'm going to pin those areas. So here's my double notch. And then I have a single notch over here. So if you've done a sleeve before, this should be familiar. Then we have dots here. So I have a dot in the middle at the very top of the cap of the sleeve. That's going to go to the shoulder seam. And then I have a couple more dots over here or marks. Then I'm going to ease everything else in between. A lot of these sleeves, it usually feels like there's too much fabric in the seam or in the seam line. That's why we did our basting stitches. So if you need to pull the basting stitches a little bit just to start gathering it up and make sure that you distribute your gathers evenly and you can start tightening up or making the sleeve a little bit smaller here at the cap so it fits the armhole a little bit better. Once you finish pinning everything, you're going to sew. So I'm going to sew at my 5 eighths seam allowance and then I'm going to go up just a little bit, maybe at the half inch or the 3 eighths, and then I'm going to do a second row of stitches. So I'm going to make sure since we use our sleeves a lot in movement that it's going to be extra secure. After I do my two rows of stitches, I'm then going to trim between the notches. So between this notch and this notch, you can see I trimmed most of my seam allowance off. Now you can go ahead, grab your lining from your sleeve and pull it through because now we're going to be attaching our lining to the lining of our bodice. So the white's going to be attached to the pink. I'm going to start down here at the bottom because it's the easiest. So this is my underarm seam, which I'm going to match with my side seam. So we're matching the same points as we did with the main sleeve. Notches go with notches, seams go with seams. Now remember, we had turned over 5 eighths of an inch at the cap of the sleeve. So if I'm looking at the right side of the sleeve, I see a nice folded edge. And if I look at the wrong side, I see the raw edge. So we're going to start with this one my side seam to my underarm seam and I'm going to take this folded edge and I'm going to lay it so it goes right over my 5 8 stitching line right here. So when this is attached we're not even going to see all of the stitches that we created and all the seam allowance is going to be enclosed. So it's going to look pretty seamless. So I'm going to go ahead and pin this first part. So I have the dot up here at the center of my cap. That's going to match my shoulder seam. And again, I'm laying the right side. So we have the folded edge and all this raw edge right here is going to be on the inside. And I'm having the folded edge go right over that 5 eighths of an inch stitch. And then I'm going to pin that. And I'm going to do the same thing, matching up all the major points. Now, like with the regular sleeve, you may have some issues where you need to ease. That's why we have the basting stitches in this as well. And you can go ahead, pull those stitches in order to ease everything into place. Once everything is pinned, we're then going to hand sew it to our bodice. So we'll show you that next. I'll be using a slip stitch in order to attach my sleeve lining with my bodice lining. And I'm just sewing the lining to lining. I'm not going through to my main fabric. So I have my needle and thread here. I'll start off on the pink, so the bodice lining. I'm pulling back my white lining a little bit and just grabbing just a little bit of fabric. And I'm pulling back to my white fabric because I want to hide my knot if at all possible. And then I'll just slip the lining right over that and so the knot will be hidden. And definitely use a matching color thread. I'm just using contrasting so it'll be a little bit easier for you to see. So now I'm grabbing a little bit of my white lining fabric and I'm trying to stay on the folded edge. So that way all my stitches are on the edge and hopefully they'll be less noticeable. Okay, and just gently pull it. And now I'm going to go back to the pink bodice fabric, just grabbing a little bit of that. So if I pull my lining, you can see how much I'm grabbing, just a little bit. And then I'm going to grab a little bit of the white fabric. So I'm just going back and forth between the two sides all the way around 
the armhole. So a little bit of white and then a little bit of pink. And you want to stay as close to the folded edge as you can. The sleeve and sleeve lining have now been attached to the bodice. So with the slip stitch, it looks pretty seamless. It probably would help if these were both the same color. If you have any basting stitches that are still showing at the sleeve cap, you can go ahead and remove those. But now you have a nice looking sleeve on the outside and a nice looking sleeve on the inside as well. New tutorials are released weekly, so please subscribe to be notified of the next release. Make sure to check out our other videos and visit ProfessorPincushion.com to view our complete library with well over 200 sewing video tutorials, including our exclusive premium content. Our premium membership is only $5 a month for unlimited access and only available at ProfessorPincushion.com. Also, don't forget to download our mobile app for videos on the go. Thanks for watching.